Eta Queenie Mayor Mkhulisi Kaunda says the metro is ripe for job creation and investment. That's despite service delivery problems, ailing infrastructure and irregular expenditure findings. Kaunda delivering his State of the City address just yesterday. Newsroom Africa's Kurunda Jagmahan has the details. For some residents, the state of Eta Queenie leaves much to be desired. It's very dangerous here in Durban specifically. Uh, with the Paris, we get robbed, and with the, with the sewage, can somebody please fix the sewage? We're getting ill and we don't know what is going on. And the beaches, what's going on with the beaches? Can somebody please just clean those beaches? But Mayor Kalisi Kaunda believes the city has come a long way. The fact that today, out of 23 beaches, 19 are open and safe for bathing. Six speaks volumes about the strides we have made to repair our sanitation infrastructure. This can be attributed to the repairs we have completed in our pump stations, uh, which are now enabling us to channel uh, sewer where it's supposed to go. Kaunda's two-hour-long speech presented a functioning metro with multi-million rand investment projects. Honorable Speaker, as a municipality, we are targeting. I want also to request that the committee listen carefully. We are targeting to half unemployment rate in the next five years. It is estimated that it is estimated that if we succeed to attract 30 billion rand investment, we'll be able to create 67,500 more jobs per year from following sectors. We are now mentioning what the EPL site is of keeping seven Zimgad, Obasfunu generalized. Manufacturing and recycling, we are expecting 9,055 jobs. Agriculture, 8,072 jobs. Trade, 5,009 jobs. Building and construction industry, 4,110 jobs. Accommodation industry, 2,794 jobs. Business services, 2,254 jobs. Beverages and tobacco products, 2,174 jobs. Publishing and printing, 2,136 jobs. But political rivals aren't swayed. The mayor came with a whole lot of our promises, but he did not give a true account of where we are as the city. I think uh, the staff from the mayor's office forgot to remind the mayor that we have mentioned these things for the past two years. Now, this is a dead uh, year. For example, uh, the issue of uh, water uh, works that sometimes in yet another area. They have been talking about that. As we talk today, there are no water that side. Meanwhile, a year after one of Durban's most destructive flooding events on record, a massive relief grant has finally arrived. Honorable Speaker, we are happy to announce that 1.5 billion flood relief grant has been deposited into our account, which is an addition to 185 million that came six months after the floods. Among the things it is going to address is roads, a majority of the funds will be managed by Eta Queenie's infrastructure department, but it won't fund infrastructure that doesn't fall under the city's mandate, like this Nduzuma Bridge which must be fixed by the Provincial Transport Department. We are delighted as the economic freedom fighters that the uh, majority of its if not oil is coming to our committees to deal with all the infrastructural damages uh, that happened during the April floods. But we can commit that we are going to make sure that it does not only just become a speech as a colleague from the NFP had said, People of Nsewini are actually looking for practical solutions. The State of the City Address will be debated next month. For Newsroom Africa on Channel 405, I'm Karinda Jagmohan in Durban.